Hello, lovely Aries. Welcome to your general weekly reading for February 25th, 2024. I will begin your reading with crystal scrying and continuing on with the tarot and then the oracle at the end. Okay, Aries, let's go ahead and roll and see what spirit has in store for you for this upcoming week. Holy Spirit, Holy Divine, all who are with me in the highest divine realms of love and truth, I ask that you please show me, tell me, or both. What does the zodiac sign of Aries need to know for the upcoming week's energies, please, Spirit? Thank you. Here. Okay. And who is Aries? Is this Aries? Who's Aries? Is this Aries? Okay, Aries. Someone is feeling neglected here. What I'm getting is you're coming through as a motherly type energy. Okay. And it's like you're sitting in the floor with two children. You have one that is coming through approximately three to four years old and one that's approximately uh, one and a half to two. Okay. And the older child is right up at you again. You're in the floor. And this, so this older child's right up at you. It's like you're playing together. The smaller child is out to the side looking at the two of you all alone, looking really sad. Now, normally when I see children, uh, it's symbolic of uh, work, projects, uh, things like that, okay? Hobbies, something that you're creating or something that you're putting all of your blood, sweat, and tears into uh, in order to, you know, uh, nurture something to grow as you would a child, okay? Now, it most certainly can mean a literal child for some of you or a person. I'm going to get more details on this. But I am, I'm feeling like for those of you that this has to do with a job or school or some kind of idea, I feel like you may have more than one project going on or one job or, you know, have a job and a home life, kind of like, um, putting more focus on one thing when there needs to be something balanced out here where something needs to have an equal amount of time. That's what I'm getting here. Okay, let's go ahead and go to the tarot and see what Spirit has for you. Spirit, Holy Divine, what would you like to tell Aries, please? Aries need to know. Thank you. Ace of Pentacles. It says Ace of Pawns, but it's Ace of Pentacles. One source. So if you see here with the Ace of Pentacles, this is like a, an abundance, okay? But abundance coming from source, coming from one spot. You see there's several different areas the water is flowing from but it all comes from it originates from the same place and i feel like that's what spirit's saying here because the ace of pentacles that's abundant energy it's a new cycle a new beginning here and i feel like it's also representing this motherly type figure that i saw And to remember to balance everything out. Allow several streams of your energy to take care of each thing that needs to be take care, taken care of in a balanced way. Because it's all, it's all coming from you. If that makes sense. I hope that makes sense. So thank you, Spirit. That one? Yes. Okay. Okay, Ace of Swords. 
crystallizing moment. Yeah. So again, you have another ace here. You have another new beginning. And I feel like with this new beginning, you know, for me, a spiritual sword, that is spirit saying um, a tool that spirit gives you to metaphorically um, remove from your spiritual cord any energies or any people in your life, um, you know, that you no longer uh, feel like is equally yoked with you is not is no longer on your frequency. Thank you, spirit. Give me more for Aries, please. What else for Aries? Some of you may be overextending yourself to some one person, place, situation. As in, you know you have a certain responsibility or responsibilities over here. But there may be someone or situation that's out of your control. That is taking up more of your time than you would like. Some of you may feel... Now, this isn't going to be for everyone, but this is what I'm feeling. Some of you may feel almost stuck in a situation to where that where you have to spend more time away from family, close loved ones, or things that are really important to you in, in life. This could be, you know, a job. Very well could be a job for some of you. May have to like work overtime or something like that, or some of you may be having to work two jobs. And then the things that are really important to you, you're having to, you know, not really neglect, but you know what I'm saying, uh, not having the time that you would like to have with those things. Yeah, oh my gosh. Oh, my gosh. So this is what's coming in for you. We have the Empress, the abundant source in the world. You are complete. So you're getting ready. With the, You've got these two aces. Oh, my gosh. As soon as you release the energies of people, places, situations that you know is no longer serving you, you know for a fact, and you begin walking away, you are creating energetic space. For beautiful flows of energy to come in. Okay. Positive flows. And that's going to bring you into this Empress energy. And bring you into completion. Okay. It's going to make you feel whole here. Now the Empress. You know that is someone who. First of all the Empress is all four queens in the tarot combined into one. So very passionate, very creative, very loving, very studious, you know, very intelligent, very beautiful inside and out, natural beauty. Um, someone who uh, loves or identifies with nature very strongly. Um, what else, spirit? Some, but yeah, I think I already mentioned create. There's someone who loves to create things um, using your own gifts and talents. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and go to the next deck if I can hang on to them here. They're sliding everywhere on me. Hold on just a minute. Everywhere. Thank you. Yeah. You have the tower here. Okay. Now, remember, anytime that we have a tower moment, they can seem really rough, very challenging. Okay. However, we have to remember, it's not something to be scared of. Um, it's, it's a situation to where we're going to be able to rebuild and rebuild something that's going to endure a long test of time. Okay. It's going to be very strong and sturdy. What is this tower about, please? 
What is this tower? What is this tower, please? Okay, thank you. That one? Okay. Okay, so we have the Hierophant, the Ten of Pentacles, and the Emperor. Oh my gosh. So you have the Empress and the Emperor. You've got a lot of going. You've got a lot going on here, or you're getting ready to step into a very, very, very busy. Yeah, you got a lot of responsibility. Okay, look, look at this. You've got the Hierophant and the Emperor. I already so, showed you the Empress. The other deck. It's like you've got so much going on. Again, some of you may be working overtime. Some of you may have two jobs. Or trying to create an income flow. Or you're trying to create something here. Or you're you're so overwhelmed. I think it, I really feel like you're already overwhelmed, overburdened here. Try, it's like you're trying to tackle too many things at one time. That's why, that's what the first little child, the older child, me, child meant was something that was some kind of responsibility or something that basically you, you had to do or create. Something that, something that you're definitely responsible for. To either bring in money or care for a close loved one or something here. But what's happening here is, yeah, you're focusing on this Ten of Pentacles. This is a very beautiful card. This is a legacy card. This is, this is wealth. It's also about family. Some, somebody that watches this may receive an in inheritance or a windfall of cash or a windfall of abundance in many different forms. But yeah, yeah, there's just too much going on at one time. And then something in the background is getting neglected. For some of you, this could be something like um, you maybe just an example. You're a writer and you've You've written a book half the way through and then all of a sudden something happened and you had to, uh, you know, pick up a second job. And because you picked up the second job, you had to put the book on the back burner for, for now. Right. And so I feel like that's what Spirit's saying here. There needs to be a little bit more of a balance. Or maybe some of you aren't taking care of yourself. You're having to do so many things or feel like you have so much on you. And some of you may feel like you don't have enough time in the day to get all these things done. And then there's something that gets hardly no time with you at all that needs attention somehow. Some of you, this could be, you know, like a... Again, you know, it could be an intimate partner. It could be a relative, a friend. Okay, moon. Okay, so there's something getting ready to come to light to you here. Something's getting ready to show itself. To help you understand, to be able to bring something here back into balance better. And what do we have here? Four Pentacles. Okay. Yeah. Four Pentacles with the Three of Pentacles. So I feel like, you know, this Four of Pentacles is telling you not to worry. Okay. Um, to yes, make sure that you, uh, if you don't have a little bit of a nest egg or money set back for some kind of emergency, it would be smart to do so now. Um, but the Four of Pentacles for me, that is a card of, you know, not having to worry, like having enough, like your needs always being met. That's what I'm getting here. So if your situation is, 
you've picked up a second job. Maybe working a full-time job and then working a part-time job on the side. I feel like Spirit's saying, if it is affecting your household, if it's affecting your relationships, if you have children or if you have close loved ones or close friends, and it's affecting the people, places, or situations that are most important to you. I feel like Spirit's saying you need to reassess. You need to reassess because Spirit's saying there, there's some kind of way that you may not be seeing. You know, with this moon, the moon's about illusions, things that are hidden. So I feel like something's going to come to light for you, Aries, to where you're going to see there's another way. Or you may see that you don't need that, that second job. Okay, I love that. And the Three of Pentacles, that's like getting a recognition or someone admiring your work. Okay, a certain gift, talent, or skill. It can also be about collaboration of some kind, but it can also be about distraction. And I'll tell you why. Okay, if you can imagine in the Rider weight, you have uh, a person who is displaying, you know, they're, they're painting away, right? And they're making some kind of beautiful masterpiece. And then there's two people who are walking by and they stop and they just admire this person's artwork their beautiful gift and there's all these oohs and ahs right but at the same time i also know that too many oohs and ahs can cause distraction so that little girl that i saw that was running up to you the older child could have represented a distraction for some of you as well to be on the lookout for any kind of distractions um, coming between you and what you hold dear to your heart. Spirit, give me some last bit of guidance, please, for Aries. Last bit of guidance, please. Thank you. And what do we have? Trust yourself more. Know that you are in the right place at the right time opportunities will present themselves to you when they are meant to all in divine timing get excited about the future again instead of fearing it love it so spirit's saying it's time to get excited trust trust your intuition trust your knowledge Trust spirit and know without a doubt opportunities are coming in. They're coming in. Your needs will be provided for with that four of pentacles. You're just not seeing it right now with the moon. Okay. The spirit's saying as long as you continue taking action towards something, not to fear. Now, you know, you, you can't just not take action. You can't you can't go around and not plant seeds, you know what I'm saying? And then expect for something to grow. There has to be a seed planted, right? But as long as you're doing that, something's going to work out in your favor here. Some kind of abundance, some way, somehow. And it doesn't mean it always has to be money. But I definitely feel like there's some kind of abundance that's coming to you. Because you did have, you started out with two aces. The ace of swords. Releasing the negative. Starting a new beginning here. A new cycle. Fresh. Was there another ace? Hang on just a minute. I want to make sure because I think I was wrong on that. No, you had an ace and the empress that came out together in the world card. Okay. But still, you had the ace of swords releasing that negativity. 
I feel like also something to think about here, Aries, is think about uh, your perspective on things, okay? Um, if you begin seeing that you are spiraling down more of a negative type um, energy. So what I mean by that is, let's say you're normally a happy-go-lucky person, but then something happens, you know, because you did have the tower card. Let's say something happens, God forbid, you know, you get laid off or something like that. And, you know, then all of a sudden you you feel like, oh my gosh, you know, what am I going to do? And it can be a very, very scary feeling. But just remember, energy never stays the same. Energy is fluid. It's always changing. Just like the water flows, it's always moving. Okay. So although that, you know, you may be going through a situation right now or getting ready to step into one, it's not going to stay that way forever. Okay. It has to move. Anything else, Spirit? Okay, nope. That's everything for you, lovely Aries. I'm going to go ahead and close your reading. May you have an extremely blessed and lovely week, my friends. Bye-bye.